Are you guilty of false advertising? A good YouTube video is one that makes a promise and then delivers on that promise. It needs to be immediately clear to the viewer that this video is exactly what they were looking for when they clicked. If it's not, sorry, they're out of there. In this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to deliver on that promise. Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by for another video. I'm so grateful. And I'm gonna tell you all about greenhouses, how to build one in your own backyard uh, so that you can grow fruits, vegetables, flowers, whatever you want. Even if you live in an apartment or if it's snowing outside like it is right now, I can't even tell you about the blizzard I was driving in last night. I almost died, but I didn't. And I'm here to tell you all about greenhouses. Uh, before I do, I know it's been a while since I've released a video. I'm so sorry about that. Life gets busy, uh, but I wanna update you on my life, uh, tell you about this amazing date that I had last night. Hopefully you were able to recognize that that was an example of a not so great video. Remember, when someone clicks on your video, they clicked for a reason. You made a promise with your title and thumbnail. The question is how quickly are you delivering on that promise? Don't make them wait for it because the reality is today, they won't wait for it. Mistake number one, taking too long to get to the point. The reality is humanity in this day and age has a shrinking attention span. In fact, recent studies have shown that the average human has an attention span of about eight seconds. That's shorter than a goldfish, which by my calculations is about nine seconds. We're killing it, humanity. We're killing it in 2021. <laughs> what that means is you have exactly eight seconds to grab their attention and hook them. If you don't do so, I think you'll see they're out of there. I think if you look at your video analytics, you'll see that this is backed up as well. If you look at how quickly people are dropping off your video, look at the percentage of, of people who are still viewing your video at about the 30 second mark, you'll see a lot of people jumped off real quick. Now that's normal, that's gonna happen, even if you have the best video in the world, but a bad hook, a bad intro, a bad beginning, guarantees they're gone. I do believe once you have their attention, they're in. They're gonna watch your video and they're gonna be engaged and enjoy it as long as you continue to deliver on the promise you made in your marketing. This is why your hook is so important. I'm talking about the first 10 to 30 seconds of your video. Don't meander, get to the point. Look, you don't have two minutes to get their attention. You have eight seconds. So how are you gonna use them in your next video? Get to the point. Now mistake number two is trying to accomplish too much in one video. I believe that some videos do have different purposes, right? right? One video might be to try and gain influence, to make a video that a lot of people are searching for, that they'll click on and watching to grow your audience. Another video might just be talking to your subscribers. I have a couple videos coming up that I'm gonna just be talking to those who are subscribed to me. That's gonna be the purpose of those videos. Another purpose might be to make money. Not every video has the same purpose, but when we try to accomplish all of that in one video, we weigh our videos down. We're trying to accomplish too much. The viewer loses interest. For example, I want to tell you about our True Fam Media mailing list where we send out resources and content to inspire you as you create your videos. And by joining, you get a free exclusive link to join our live stream training on February 20th. I want to tell you, you could sign up by clicking the link in the description. But by doing so, I would actually be making this a worse video by detracting from its clear and focused content unless I found a way to work it in organically so that it was an example or an illustration of something you shouldn't do and didn't draw attention to it by pointing it out, thus ruining the whole thing. How'd I do? Let me know in the comments. Don't try to accomplish too much in one video. Mistake number three, don't try to say too much in one video. I'm trying to help you create clear and focused content. That means only put in your video what needs to be there. This isn't about a video being too long or too short. It's about putting only the information that is needed in the video to talk about the clear and focused point you're trying to make. If it takes you 30 minutes to deliver on the promise you made on your title and in your thumbnails, great, you have a wonderful video. But if it only takes you five minutes and you're trying to make a 20 minute video out of five minutes worth of content, then your video is not very good. 
most viewers today are looking to get as much value as possible in as short as time as possible. Those who can say more in less time are the ones who are gonna succeed in 2021. Some exceptions might be live streams and moments where you're just connecting with your audience and, and increasing that spirit, that level of community. But as far as growing your audience and growing influence, short and focused content is where it's at. That means you have to take your subject matter and your focus and narrow it down as small as you possibly can. For example, I wanted to make a video not too long ago about prioritization. And as I began to develop that content, I realized I had way too much for one video. And what I really wanted to get to was calendar blocking, but I wanted to set it up by giving some teaching and just help people understand the importance of prioritization. So what I did is I created a video about prioritization and followed it up with my video on calendar blocking. As one video, it would have been too convoluted and people who were interested in calendar blocking would have been probably clicked off before I ever got there. And people who were interested in learning how to prioritize would have clicked off the moment I switched over to calendar blocking. But by making it two videos, I doubled my chances and opportunities for my audience to engage with my video. There were two videos with two different focuses attracting potentially two different audiences. As you continue to narrow down and focus your video, you're gonna realize you have to cut some quality content. But if the content really is quality, don't throw it away. Don't get rid of it and say, oh, well, I'm just gonna rob the world of this great value. Don't do that. Instead, learn how to take your good video and turn it into a great series by repurposing that content, developing it more, and making a separate video. Get in the habit of asking, how could this video be a series? That's actually exactly what I'm doing right now. So be sure to subscribe and I'll teach you in the next video how to take a good video and turn it into a great series. And also go ahead and hit the like button if you haven't done so already. I don't know why you wouldn't have. I'll see you in the next video.